58 miles from the L.A. Memorial Coliseum where the opening ceremonies were held on Saturday. Just nearby, a 45,000 citizen town, Chino, California, that supplies one quarter of California's milk needs. I'm Al Troutwig, and when ABC Sports asked me to come to Los Angeles to cover the Olympics, this is not exactly what I had in mind. But the Olympics are being played here. Well, not right here, but off in the distance. The brand new $3.5 million Olympic shooting facility, first of its kind in the United States. And the shooters from all over the world do indeed feel quite at home on the range. There were 71 competitors on the range, their minds fixed on the target and the weapon. The competition is about to begin. These shooters have trained themselves to be on a different mental plane than you and me. Steadiness becomes an act of the soul. The knowledge that a nine may not be good enough has made it so. This may be the Olympics' most mental game, and only the physical process can be easily explained. The small bore rifle event requires you to do some things that 88 degree temperatures suggest quite strongly that you shouldn't do. Begin with the clothing. Two sweatshirts, a heavy leather jacket, and a thick, thick glove. Why all this clothing? Well, the shooter's aiming process is so precise that if they don't have this much clothing on, they will actually see their pulse beat as they aim for the target. And if they do see that, that means they'll have to aim and shoot between pulse beats. That's how precise it can get. Now, this strap will be used later to support the gun, and it is tight, and that increases the pressure on the blood vessels that come through the arm. The shooters now are beginning to think about one thing, a great 50-meter challenge for them, and it is this bullseye, less than one half inch across, about the size of my pinky nail, more than one half football field away. Ten points at the center, down to one on the outside, and the wind can actually move the bullet more than an inch and a half. Now it comes time to hook up to the gun, which has as many options as some American automobiles. This snaps into here, like so, and the arm is gripped in here. It is a position that will be held for most of the shooters for the entire two hours duration of the event. Now the gun costs about $1,200, and it can be adjusted to customize the fit and feel to each individual shooter, the cheek, the arm, the shoulder, and the sights. The sights, by the way, have no magnification. They are used for alignment purposes only. Now, in this event, the prone position, which simply means getting down into a position, something like this. Now, Bill Beard of the U.S. Olympic team, whose equipment I'm using, says the entire sighting procedure takes him about 10 seconds. I wouldn't want to stay in this position for more than 10 seconds. It's that uncomfortable. Now the bullet, 22 calibers and quite small. It goes in here and now let's see what I can do I can't see the target with my bare eye so through this telescope I can tell you that I got a 10 history tells us that the Edsel was one of America's great failures 31-year-old Edward Edsel of the United States was attempting to become a Stars and Stripes success. The small bore rifle English match requires 60 shots, and there is a two-hour time limit. Ed Edsel was taking his shots at an accelerated pace, and he would later tell us his heart was following suit. It was with two shots remaining that his body's inner peace was broken by a pulse beat that seemed to lift him off the table. The 59th 22 caliber flight was perfect, and so was the 60th for a 597 out of a perfect 600. But Edsel knew differently. He was confident the inspection of five judges and a jury would provide a 599. The crowd, meanwhile, enjoyed their new celebrity, but final judging can change things. Edsel knew it. So did the shooting coach of the University of West Virginia feel like a celebrity? I don't feel like one yet. But he would. Edward Edsel, an Olympic success of the highest caliber. And the final standings in the small bar English match reveal that Edsel did receive a 599 for the gold. Michel Bury of France and Michael Sullivan, the silver and the bronze, separated by a tie-breaking procedure.